Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, AKA The Scanographer, and today we are going to do a scanograph together. I am, excuse the wind and the birds and all that, I'm in the middle of Lake Cuyamaca where Mother Nature's just doing her thing and we are going to roll with it. Um, I get asked frequently about scanography, what is scanography, how do you take a scanograph and all that stuff, so I'm gonna bring you on that little journey with me from finding a specimen, probably gonna end up being like a wildflower or something, and then we're gonna take it home, we're gonna take a scan of it, and then we are going to see the finished product together. So, let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so we are back from our hike. I'm feeling good about this. I found some beautiful California wild aster flowers. So these pink little flowers, I'll do some close-ups right here. And they are gorgeous, they're gonna look great. I've scanned them before, so they I, they look great every time. Um, I have a moth or a butterfly that I might add to it. Um, and we're just gonna um, try that out and then see how it turns out. And we'll keep documenting this little journey, okay. Okay, so now that I'm at home, I am figuring out what I'm gonna mix with these little California aster flowers. And I found this beautiful little, you can barely see it, you'll see it better in the scan. But um, the other day I found this little moth, little baby moth, and it was already dead of course, so um, I um, preserved him a bit and kept him tucked away for the perfect moment. But I think this color will look really good with the pink aster flower and the yellow middle part of it, it'll look really cool. So um, we're gonna try that and then um, I'll scan it, color correct it, bring you on that whole journey with me, but let's first put it on the scanner. So, oh, and we got a preview coming through. So sometimes when I'm scanning, there's these lines that come through. Any sort of imperfections, any sort of dust or anything, I like to keep it. Sometimes if the dust is a little too obnoxious, I will retouch them out. But any sort of imperfections, I do kind of love. I think anyone that's watching that is an artist kind of loves the um, happy accidents that occur when you're creating something. Um, sometimes it adds an element to it, sometimes it totally messes the whole thing up. Um, and we're going to try either way. So I'm going to scan this and then I'm going to try re-scanning it, unplugging the scanner and plugging it back in because of these lines that show up. They're like these vertical lines where like, the I don't know if the light creeps in somewhere, maybe I should seal it up better or I should restart the scanner. But we're going to try it out and then um, we're going to look at the final product. Well, we're going to look at it on Lightroom and then we'll look at the final product. So anyways, let's do this. Okay, y'all. I'm very excited about how this turned out because um, with these like California aster flowers and the bud, the moth and you know, it just, it came out, I think you can kind of see it. And we'll see the final product. Actually, I'll put it all up on the screen so you can see it way clearer. But um, it just came out so good. I've just, you know, I get really like, ugh, when, um, uh, the picture like the final product is there and I finished you know color correcting it and everything and um, yeah it's it, it just inspires me uh, it's not my only creative project but this is like the more meditative um, of all of my creative stuff that I'm into it's there's such a process to it it involves me going out into nature looking being very intentional about my next steps arranging it on the flatbed in a way that like I have to be very delicate about it and I'm just so grateful that I get to work with this kind of medium, really, seriously. And I, I you know, when I say like it came out really good, I'm like me in the most humble way. I'm like this, I'm very clear that this work, I arrange it, I pick these flowers out, I um, find the insects, I arrange it in a certain way, but this is all stuff that already exists in nature. You know what I mean? Like this is, I didn't create this beautiful borage flower, you know, that I'm really bringing it out and show highlighting certain aspects of it that we don't usually see, but it already exists in nature. So it's 
hard for me to take 100% credit. Just um, so when I say this is like a beautiful picture, this picture came out so good. I always mean I'm talking about the nature aspect of it and like what I was able to bring out in the picture. And maybe that is the art form, maybe that is me, but um, the nature is really what I'm um, complimenting. Um, but anyways, I, I am also selling NFTs. I'm really excited about it. I've already had a sale and it's been like two weeks since I've been in the NFT world. So I'm very excited about even being in this space. And um, so if you're interested, you can absolutely purchase this picture as well as some other stuff that I have for sale on OpenSea. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. Um, but you know, like if you've ever supported an artist, it is one of the highest compliments ever um, to purchase a piece of work. It's, you know, you're not only investing in the person, you're investing in what they're working on for the future. You're investing in their future. It's just like um, you're believing in them. It's just, it's m way more than just the money aspect. It's um, all of that. And for anyone that's collecting my NFTs, I'm working on some freebies to add into um, the NFTs in the future, whether it's cell phone um, wallpapers, like the digital wallpapers and other stuff. I'm still working on it, but if you're an NFT collector of mine, you will be getting freebies in the future. I don't know what specifically yet, but it'll be something that'll definitely give you value. So yeah, um, we're going to look at the final product together here in a moment. Um, but yeah, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for appreciating this work and appreciating nature. This is all what it's about is for me to highlight nature and the beauty that already exists in the wild world. That's it. This is all, I, that's why I'm here. You know what I mean? So thank you for joining. Thank you for being part of that process and um, for um, enjoying nature with me in that aspect. So let's check this picture out together. Thank you. Check out my stuff on OpenSea. Add me on Twitter. Add me on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel, that whole thing. Um, and um, yeah, let's check it out. Um,